and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of the International Three! Navi versus the Alliance. The Alliance yet to drop in a set in the entire main event, undefeated through the group stage. They will even allow Bulldog to pull some camps to secure a really fast Midas. And it's a clockwork for S4. S4's really playing well in this middle lane, just constantly using the cogs, burning Dendi's Mata, preventing him from being aggressive, but it's bottom lane, where they've gone in on Funnick, he's dropping pretty low, there's another rocket barrage, there's, there's still dust. a dust here, it's first blood, and it goes to the Alliance! But with the dust that should be on the Wisp, yeah, there still is a dust charge. If they try to go again, it could go south, but here they go, on to Ake, DD for S4, Ake dropping fast, he's gonna fall, but S4, he's found Funnick, now tethered, blown up by the Ake creep, fighting from beyond the grave, now Kuroki, sprouted, locked in place, but here comes Big, Bad Dendi, but no, it's too much damage from Lona, three to one! There's no push in the mid lane. And Perhaps right, we're going to see right a into mid. Here we go. Okay, They're looking in. for two. Oh, Hook the... to fly. They've caught Puppy as well. Callout's coming in. Dendi's down. Six to one. Alliance already out of control. Barreling down the middle lane. This, the Roche is dropping fast, but Dendi wants to contest. He's coming in with Firefly. Are we going to see an Aegis steal? Roche is low. Not dead yet. They're backing off. They're going in. He can't make up his mind, and now it's too late. Firefly's over. S4 back into the pit, covering his team. Roche to fall, it goes to the Alliance, the Aegis on the Loda, and now a hook on a boast. He's overstayed his welcome here, swapping in Kuroki. Kuroki says, get me out of here, man, and he can't. He'll fall. It's a headlong retreat now. Bulldog teleporting forward, creating another base of attack. Now a call down to fly. They've lasso Bulldog. He's still alive, though. He's not even dying. Three dead. No track kills for Na'Vi, and they're not going to get any. Make it four. Na'Vi down two to 11. Yeah, and they're gonna GG! Oh my god! GG! 16 minute GG, and they're gonna get that final last kill. Alliance just dominating! Dominating Navi! They're just more efficient than you, and then they beat you. They're a cold blooded machine. That's the story of Alliance this tournament. Now. Well, it's going to be a Beastmaster for them. So Navi's not completely screwed by this, but they are slowed down. Right now... Oh, mid lane here. It looks like we have a tether in against S4. He's dropping low. Couple more hits going to do it. Magic stick up, and he's going to... No! He First does not survive! Of Navi. They're not done yet! Kuroki's going to fall! One for one. Bulldog standing strong. But Navi, they needed a good start after that last game. Ooh, now a Gale. Gale's going to hit, and they're going to right kick some, but oh, nobody's going to come in. be fine. Wow, this is Axis, too far though, to die. Has a long no, cast. maybe not. Oh, it's going to hit. Not enough. Not Ooh. nearly enough. Trying his best to put on some grubby impression. There you go. Win walk kills. Oh man. Warcraft Still in the neutrals. Now Ooh. a haunt's coming Haunt. in. There's some sort of engagement about to break out. It's going to be Ake. Oh, pulled Ace in. Rune. Now Ace in Rune. trouble. Dendi pulling, pulling him far away. Not dead just yet. And Loda just farming top. They've lost the bet. They could lose a Venno soon, or a uh, Beastmaster soon. S4 on the run. Dendi leading 3 to 2. He's really diving for this. He will back off. Na'Vi, it's 3-2. to two. Tender coming in the back line here. Wisp falls in your face, S4. And Funnick picks up yet another kill. I have to remind you, Funnick started on the top lane and had no help. He's level 4, 6 minutes in. If they knew he was here, they would have already come for him. So he knows they don't. In comes Funnick. They've got track. Mm -hmm. It could be a 4-hero track kill. Oh. Funnick, oh. he's got the set. Oh, no. Bulldog's been oh, greedy. No. And his greed will be punished. No relocate yet. Are they not going to use it? They don't it? need it. Don't even need it. Now a smoke, they're spreading to the winds. They've gone in mid as well. Last one, S4. This is getting totally out of control. Haste it or not, S4 will fall. Now these are rolling through the Alliance. Another track kill, EGM on the run. He's gonna fall, eight to two. It's a good old fashioned beatdown. Oh, Navi setting up shop in front of the tier 2 tower. They are just throwing so hard. The goal advantage, S4 generally one of the best solo mid Europe. He is 0, 5, and 0. He is not doing a single thing in this game so far. It's that to a large extent. Track goal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Relocate. Hello, Mr. S4. Say hello to Slapchop. Havost is here. S4. Roar. Is oh, he going to land? Oh. He's still alive. Unbelievable. Still he stands. He's not dead yet. EGM might fall one more swipe, he gets the kill.
Meanwhile, on the middle lane, they're diving Bona. That's a track kill. That's for three. Funnick. Funnick's going to get picked up by Loda here. And Loda, Alliance he's looking, looking for well. the turnaround. But Puppy's got Black Hole. He's got Malefice. Is he going to unload? Not yet. Oh. There's a few heroes here. Familiar's coming out, and Alliance is going to back off. But that's a lot of wasted time. Meanwhile, middle lane. Here I'll comes relocate. the relocate. You gank us. We dodge it and gank you twice as hard. Bulldog will fall and not be in full control of game two. S4 drops a beast, Master Roar, but he has no backup here. Ten of movement speed forward here. Couple more rocks, it's gonna do it. Havos finds himself a double kill. A so care is finished in 16 minutes. What is this form? He is richer than God. He's hardly had to fight, but now if he wants to, he most certainly oh, can. Dendi forcing forward, really wanting to dive a two hero kill, but I don't think it's enough. In comes the stun. EGM, one stun, three swipes, and He's down! My god, Navi is rolling so hard. Navi, BKB coming soon for Puppy. They're not gonna wait. He'll boast in the front lines. To the lines he goes. He'll start hitting the tower. The pressure is here. They will have to respond. The familiars try to stun. One falls in doing so, and they just don't stop. They'll back off. They'll reset, they'll reload. Denny with a Yule Scepter. Whenever Navi wants to pick a fight, they can. And if Alliance does not defend now, they will start losing their first lane of Rex. Oh, bit jump in against S4. He gets pulled back out. And S4 is going to get focused so hard that he does not know what him. Meanwhile, Hobos 1v4 deep in the base. He does not care. Immediate buyback. Yule Scepter back up. Can we get a black hole? Yeah, no, no, no black hole. S4 drops his world first. They want Bulldog. Bulldog chasing in. Yeah, Alliance, Bulldog. They just can't stand against this level of Damage! Puppy's still hunting. Stun on Ake. They don't even need the black hole. It's a route. It's a retreat to the fountain. They'll find S4. S4's dead in a matter of seconds. Four to fall. They're farming Alliance in their own base. This is the most one-sided game that the Alliance has lost in this entire tournament. 20 minutes in. 20 kills. The goal lead 30,000. And it's GG! Solomid Rubik, something different is coming from Navi. If you think about it, Solomid was actually not bad against uh, Batrider. Well, level 6 is coming quite soon. I mean, generally the timing for a level 6 on the mid lane is around this, although the harass oh, oh, the root comes here. No tether. Dendi's in trouble. He's got nowhere to run. He's going to be the first blood. The Bulldog Root does it. Yeah, we're talking about Dendi leaving his lanes when he gets level 6 for a relocate. Gangs is making it happen right now on the bot lane. Kuroki, there's a leap. They want Aki first. Toss him back. One man stand against Loda. Loda dropping low. They're going to focus him down. That two kill going to Na'Vi. We expected the rotation. Here it comes, and Dendi strikes fast. That gold graph that looks like it's Na'Vi's favor will instantly go the other direction. Oh, Here we go. Leap on the Havos. Trapped in the jungle. Sentry wants prep. They found it, but Dendi wants to bring him home. No, not relocating yet. Turning around, throwing out the stun. It's a trap! And S4 will fall. Na'Vi were ready. They were prepared. Alliance thought they had him. There was no... Even with the Laguna Blade, it just wasn't enough damage. Very, very important counter gank here. And Dendi now have both traveling as a pack. They're thinking about relocating. If they see anybody, they will see EGM on the mid tower. Oh, EGM! You thought you were safe. You are never safe from Dendi. A ton of damage. And now Navi deciding to go into the Roshan pit. I mean, Firefly is down, but it's back up now. And you got to expect go. him. Oh, here we go. Havos being pulled out here. And he, there's nobody helping him out except for Relocate. Can Dendi bring him home? He's not doing anything just yet. Havos oh. still very tanky. Dendi. Oh, Dendi walks into it. Oh, no. They're now. still raging on. Kuroki to fall. Two dead. Now they're on the run from the backside. Comes Frontic. Laguna Blade as well. That's three for one. Alliance where there's a will, there's a way. Four for two. And haunting a boss, he's gonna be a tough kill. But there's your arrow. Loda is sniping them all. Cannot miss. Will not stop. That's a team wipe. Give them five, four, one, and now directly into the Roche pit. And look at this. They're just gonna keep on taking trades because they have the the lone druid bear, which hits like a truck. The tier two bottom's gonna fall. Now they have to defend mid. But S4, he's got a blink force. He's got a lasso as well. Dendi will be essential to keep him safe. The tier three mid falls. There's no glyph available. In comes the bear. They're looking for a root on a boast. The bear's damage being stolen. S4 leaps in, grabs Funnick, but can't kill him off. He's low. He's not dead.
dead. No damage to bring him down. BKB from Funnick. Navi standing strong, but they lose him. Loda snipes the kill. The bear's dead. Soon to be resummoned. Puppy falling fast. Loda with a DD. Plinking. He's starting to hurt. That's two down. The Alliance not dead. Turning it around. Havos in trouble. Chain stun city. But he gets the two arrows done. He's going to turn it back the other way. Havos right clicking for us. Look. He's going to get EGM as well. That's a triple kill, but Aggie says skill cast. Team wipe for Alliance. They completely win the fight. 7.5k gold. This is really a slugfest. The analysts wanted a closer game, and we're getting one. And here we go. Havos in the front line. They oh. found Aki, but they relocated forward. Kind of wasted, but they will get the kill. Not really ideal. Now Aki just says, okay, I'm buying back. Lasso, though, stolen by Kuroki. A find S4. S4's dead. Now they relocate a few steps away. Dendi's low. Dendi's not dead. And Havos is on the hunt. No. Stunned. Isolated. Can't finish the job. Bulldog cleaning up on the backside. He's not been focused yet. And now he might find funny. Where's that bear going to go? Nothing just yet. Now Ooh, he's Emerald, on the run. Emerald, oh, little bit trouble. there's a haste turn on Dendi. Uh-oh, Lumi. Uh-oh. Bear's going to drop. He's got to resummon. Are they going to fight? No. Another bear death. More gold into Navi's pocket. Uh, Navi's gonna gotta try to get something done right now. Gotta focus that Rex. Bat Rider dead for about 20 seconds. S4, does he have buyback? No buyback. Yes, he does. No, yes, he already he, used no, it. No, use it. Cool down. Already yes. used it. Cannot buy back. There's no glyph here either. It's all up to the bear. And if the bear dies, it's dead for a good minute and a half. But an arrow nails to both. Where's the follow up? There's a Dendi relocate soon, and he just can't really be damaged here. That overcharge starting to kick in. And oh, in the bash. end, Roots. Oh my god. Funix just gonna melt. Here comes S4. He finds a boss. A boss is gonna get focused as well. Dendi does not get the relocate out. They want more. The arrow. Oh no, it does not hit. S4 says, I'll clean up. No problem. And that's yet another base defense. This Rax is just immortal for Alliance. Sweden's finest are standing strong. The Alliance, 17 to 14, leading in gold. Lee experience now heavily their way. Gold even. But this Roche will bring. Break the game open. One good lasso could just spell doom. There's only buyback on Havost and Funnick. In comes Havost, looking for a stun. It's gonna hit, but it's very far away. S4, not an easy target now. Still chasing, arrow, arrow to fly. Loda nails it again. Where's that lasso? Baiting out the BKB. Havost slapping a choppy, but not finishing a hero off. And now his BKB ends. He's on his own. Lassoed and pulled back into four, but tethered up. It's up to the bear. He's got himself stunned. Oh no, Havost is gonna fall. Oh no, Havos getting caught out now. Dendi being chased as well. They're not gonna get the kill. Just a buyback coming out from host. Dendi, Tedder's back over here. We'll reset and reload here, but Alliance getting every advantage. They right just now. forced out a double buyback. The element of surprise on your favor on your hand, but smoked up here from Navi. They Arrow to go fly. For a not sure where it is right now. It looks like Navi coming in. Havos can't wait a stun. We'll see the bear, but he wants a hero. Relocate as well. Nope. Lasso's gonna be there. They for find now. S4. S4, no, BKB. He gets caught yet again. The stun's there. Loda, Aegis soon to expire. No Manta driven back. No buyback on the Bat Rider. Very far away. Is this two lanes of Rax, Lumi? Could this even be game? There's there's no glyph here. I mean, this Alliance are gonna have to find, they're gonna have to really muster their courage. They have to find a good fight. It's tough. Remember Havosta's overcharge. This ain't your average alchemist. This is a very buff one. And in they go. Hard to kill. Kuroki with the blink, the lift, Ake caught. Navi finding the pickoffs. This could be game. Two lanes of rats soon to fall. Loda though, driving them back. Star falls there. Something stolen. The bear, man fighting out with a boast. Loda locked in position. Does not give two hosts. Then the arrow comes. Another play. Again, Kuroki just connecting. Lena melts. The Rax melts. Loda trying his best to hold off whatever he can, but Hofos just does not care on the front line. That second lane of Rax. S4 is back, and I think that's time to get the hell out for Navi. They got exactly what they wanted. Hofos says, no, I want more. I'm going to just storm down get the mid Rax. Give me a range Rax as well. If you're not buying back, you must not have it, he says. And in they go. Kuroki, another leap. This time a BKB from S4. Four, but he's not using it to fight. Now they grab Loda. He gets four staffed into the fray. Lift it up. Drop down and dead. Loda has fallen. And the Swedes are in a headlong state of disarray. Navi on the brink of being one game away from taking the entire tournament.
Remember, if Na'Vi do die, they've got a buyback relocate available. So, they really have seven heroes here. They really do have an Aegis in this fight. And in they go. It could be three lanes of Rex. It could very well be game. Alliance might be trailing for the first time ever in this series. Here we go. Funnick falling fast. The tether stuns there. Test four. Lassoing Funnick. Funnick will fall. But EGM's been caught. And EGM is dead. Hafos is merciless. That's three lanes of Rex. That's probably game. He's got the buyback, he's still alive, and Alliance are on their very last leg. Then the overcharging, blocking damage, earning himself. Hobos is immortal. They disarm, and they're gonna keep on rifling. Hobos still alive. How is this man alive? Finally, he'll die, but he buys back. Dendi will, too. They're coming right back in. Actually, no relocate. They do lose a few. They lose four, but that's Mega Creeps. That is disarm against the bear when you rely so much on a single target, deal that damage, and obviously... And a Divine. Oh, here They're we going go. For it. I there love go. it. Alliance showing some real cojones in this match. They've got to win this fight. Loda has a DD as well. This bear will absolutely murder anything. Bears win games. Will it win this one? The there's a glyph on Na'Vi. There's a buyback on the Wisp. Arrow not going to accomplish anything. In comes the bear. In comes S4. He's found Funnick. In comes Disarm. the boat as well. Disarm against the bear. He's not doing anything. Funnick survived the initiation. Hobo the says, bear. I want the, the bear. Rapier. I want your Aegis. Thank you very much. Na'Vi are going to cut Alliance's head off down the middle lane. Jeez, jeez. They started this series off 0 to 1. They started this series off looking like they had no idea what they were doing. And yet here they are, leading 2 to 1. Uh, Shadow Demon, but generally Shadow Demon and Rubik don't work well together. They're both set up heroes, they don't have much damage. AoE from these supports, and they both are highly dependent on level 6. Not going to be an easy nut to crack. They'll go oh. in now though, they hit him. Funnick's coming as well. Could be a first blood to Na'Vi. S4 falling fast, not going to have a fast start. He is going to drop. Na'Vi, once again a first blood going their way. S4 sitting back, he's rotating into attack. the lane. We'll see some additional support coming soon. It's coming from Ake, he's jumping in, looking to go. He's got a Nova, not casting yet. S4 on the prowl, but lifted up. Throw in. Coil as well. Here's your call down. Loda unloading the damage. Two to fall. Make it three. Out now be in a head long retreat. And Night Soccer so alive right now, trying to get the slow. He does find it. And Funnick trying to fly off the cliff. Not going to be as we see EGM picks up a triple kill on the Wisp. Well, that's his level six if he ain't ever needed one. Meanwhile, Dendi, though, he can make a play here on S4. The silence is there. Can't Double use. damage. S4. No, Dendi's going to go down. It's a team boy. He's only strong half the time, right, in theory, but... Mid lane, mid lane, Bulldog's in trouble, now an Alp stun, they're really diving for this. They've got a lift, Kuroki coming in, it's four heroes mid. They do get Bulldog, nice but Ake's okay, TP'd in, he's got a Frostbite, holding the most in position. Hello, S4, coming in, Tether's there, relocate from EGM, and Dendi's on the run. S4, how far will he go for this? Huh? How deep will he dive? He finds another kill, Dendi, did not port to his orb and will fall. You can use one hero while you focus another. We've seen other Night Stalkers, the Standard build oh, is earned in the BKB. Boss. Here we go, though. They found a boast. It's nighttime, a boast, and Night Stalker's on you. Relocate, Relocate comes. A boast to fall. Instantly, it melts. Down again. He's pressuring top, though. He's looking to force this. I think Alliance, if they just get a buyback out from Navi, you just back off and you keep on farming. Well, the one thing that they have to be careful about is Funnick. If Funnick gets a blink, lasso, and then four staff, there is we go. no way. Havos coming in. Alliance, they don't have a gem. Actually, they do have a gem on EGM. S4 just doesn't care. He gets stunned and he keeps on rolling. There's no glyph. This tower is falling soon. Kuroki, something oh, stolen. There's a no four staff backwards. You gotta kill EGM quick, and they will not. Back. The mech coming out. The call down comes out. Havos trying to right click but he just does not do any damage. S4, Double melting. kill for Loda. Three on the deck. Havos not going to win this fight. Not against Alliance. Their foe might unveil. They take four. They only lose one. This is Rex. This might well be game. 16 to four. 25 minutes in. Na'Vi getting smashed. Media Rex. In fact, Dendi trying to make some play. Dreamcore used Loda's dropping low, but life steal and armor. As well as HP from the BKB Radiant says, no prob. Yeah, that was a really nice play by Denny. Yeah, I, I mean, actually, they, they did kill her there, but it just it took oh, so right. long. It's, yeah. it's like, does it, is it really worth it? Probably not. 
S4 in the front lines. He's got the gem now. BKB off cooldown. He's got a haste as well. If Navi got to run, they're screwed. They already are, but here we go. There's three minutes to go on this age. A silence thrown out. Funnick jumping in. Does catch EGM. EGM, no buyback. If he gets caught, could be bad. Low, but max up. Puppy just gets smacked down. This puppy will fall. Dendi next. S4 out of control. And it looks like possibly the end. Three dead. Tumble buyback from Navi. Just giving too much ground here. Dendi leaping in, jumping out. Still no reward. They got some chains and they got some left. Kuroki trying to fight against everybody. Kuroki though can't tank it up. Lotus dropping low as well. That's a two-man coil. They want Ammo Bulldog, but Lotus gonna get dropped. They and spent a lot to defend this. A lot of buybacks Another here. buyback coming out here. Ammo Bulldog gonna get focused. Navi's gonna make a successful oh, defense. Oh no! Lotus alive! Can they lock him down? They need a stun. Nothing there. He slept. They prep and they wait and they get the gem as well. If Navi hold, now it becomes a big fight. But Havos. Falling fast, not dead yet. There's no fiend script. Now Lotus tries stun. to run. Oh stun. wow! I think they might actually do this. There's a whisper locate. Too late. Lotus dead. 21 to nine. Navi hanging on for dear life. He's gonna start chipping away. He's very hard to deal with the racks. The tier three all in jeopardy as the tier three melts. Still, there's cheese on S4. Can they really bring him from zero to none? If not, he's got two lives. Lotus got two lives. Bulldog's got buyback. So give him eight heroes in this push. And now. Well, a leap away by our bat. Funnick not ready to go. They lift S4. Very hard to go on him. Remember, he's got cheese and still a lion standing strong. The glyph's been used. The tower's about to fall. They nuke and then silence Funnick. Now the tier three's down. Funnick out of this fight for quite a few seconds. The tier two, the Rex is going to fall. Lotus taking it. Now a oh, backstab on Bulldog. He's going to drop. On to Funnick, last way up Loda, but Loda is still alive, he's still got a satanic, Avost is hacked, and Avost will fall! S4 and the rest of the team, triple buyback coming up from now, quad buyback, they want, they need to make something of this happen, Dandy finds a two-man coil, and they're gonna go right in Funnick, oh, he's There's silenced There's a relocate up. here, Loda still got BKB, Bulldog will fall though, I think, no, Whoa. he's still not alive. dead yet, oh, Avost buyback! to death again and on S4 he's gonna chase the other dead alliance the Swedish monsters they force a game five credit to Havos making something out of nothing because that backstab took alliance out of the comfort zone alliance their final chip on the table it's all in on this low to last pick what's it gonna be chaos knight for the final game and here we go it's tense Oh, she this does. is a tough matchup. They're trying to force this first blood top. It's not going to happen, though. Kuroki, in the end, will back off. Yeah, so Amber Bottom Bulldog. lane, bottom lane. Havost on the run gets oh, pulled into no. a tether. He's channeling a stun, but he's been locked in position. Dropping oh, fast, not oh. dead yet. Lotus low. Lona is going to die. Havost. Havost drops the first blood. Amber Bulldog going for the kill right now. Tether to break the trees. Tango up here by Havost. He's EGM. got a juke. He's EGM's got a low. Oh. Charging low. Havost. Havost. Is he really going to do oh, it? Oh, my God. Oh, my oh, God. Oh. And simply too damn good. 1v4. He finds two. Five heroes mid for Navi. They love to fight early. They love to fight constantly, and they're hunting S4. Ooh. There's a blink. A lasso as well. Locked in place and just looking at Mel. Oh, Aki, you're in the wrong neighborhood. One more trap's gonna give Malphus on top. They're backing off because there's a huge backstab from Loda. Oh, EGM's gonna get. Oh, there's the kill. And now Loda in huge trouble. Can they have traps? Can they have sun? Meanwhile, Loda somehow finds. A double kill. Oh. The sun comes out. Aki, okay, a couple more hits, fight. but it's a two-second sun. Aki still alive. Kuroki on the back line, trying to get the right glow. The zap from Kuroki. They're not done just yet. Dendi trying to get the mail strike. He finds it. Kuroki. Oh, but Dendi. Oh, but Dendi. Out of his mind right now. In comes S4. There's a stun from a boss with his dying wish. Oh. Dendi though will fall, and immediately the alliance replies. But they do buy it back on low. A, a costly defense for them. Meanwhile, Aki and S4. Puppy's gonna find a mid, but is it Puppy who gets caught? Or mid? But S4 just walked into a gank party. Here's your relocate. Here we go. Oh, Black Hole's still ready to go. The Kuroki's dropping low. Oh my god, hit so hard. Havos trying to find a kill. Meanwhile, Dendi trying to focus on S4. S4 dies again. The relocate goes back out. Lona says, where's my bus home? Where's the bus? Because Dendi is dropping big 
Mel strikes. And now are pulling away with this game. Bulldog caught. Bulldog will fall. Triple kill for Dendi. Dendi looking for more. He got Mel strike funding. Oh, what a tender away by EGM. But the trap will it hit? No, he will not. EGM will survive. If Navi win this game, they will be the first team in the history of Dota 2 to win two international. They might even go for it. Remember, they've got Acid Spray Max. They got Melt. They've got Melt. Oh, yeah. And they've got the Vision Superiority Dyer's with Firefly. So think I think Navi can just take this. Alliance are going to have to fight. No Blink on S4. No Aegis shenanigans easily available. It comes down to a relocate gank. It comes down to Vision. Will they get it? Trance into the pit. Navi bringing down Roach fast. S4 prepping the jump. Firefly's there from Funnick. Not gonna let him go in easy. Relocates there. Black, Black hole. hole! Lona gets caught here. Where is the physical damage? There is nothing. The Black Hole gets canceled. Where is Dendi? Puppy's dropping. Well, Puppy's dead. But S4. S4 is dead now. Two men sprawl on top. Lona still Dendi. whacking everybody away. Dendi is still alive. They can't stop him. EGM in a whole world of trouble. He's gonna live. But the way lies open. Bulldog TP's in. Relocate TP with buyback. CK's here. Oh. Dendi, get out of there! He wants to fight! He wants to fight! There's no detection. There's EGM, no detection. No, he came no, by no. his own so. Oh, trying to get out to the left, but the sun's gonna hit! Oh my god! Jams it is! Blows him up, and now Roshan. How do they fight it? They've used so much to contest this Rosh. The buyback on Wiz, the buyback on CK. Now Funnick wants to go again. Fireflies up, Loda, EGM. If they die again, they've got no buyback. Dendi, oh, muscling forward. Will it matter though? Dendi's here, and Dendi is ready to fight. Roche dropping fast. He's not in the pit. Alliance oh, Blink. hanging on. Oh, Ake trying to do something here. Bulls dropping low. Ake's gonna drop as well. And Dendi, he's doing way too much. Nobody's actually focusing him. Dendi, perhaps trying to right click on Loda. Down to about half HP back line here. Admiral Bulldog getting focused. Meanwhile, Dendi is just cleaning house. EGM comes on the right side, trying to help us out. Like Hiroki gets picked off. Flamebreak on three. Funnix trying to survive. Sprout giving vision. And Admiral Bulldog trying to get a kill on Funnix. Firefly on the low ground. He's gonna be fine. He will have a blink dagger up very, very soon. Still Roshan stands. This time, Dendi wants to go in. While that's happening, Batrider's back to the pit. It's low. There's no black hole. Is there a way to steal this? S4 looking to leave. Rosh is low. Can he grab it in time? Dendi backs off. BKB's up on the backside, but it falls. But EGM will as well. And now, Roshan, just with a sliver of HP. If Dendi gets this, if he gets this, they might not be able to stop him. Rosh, TP back in here. Any bashes? There's a stun on Dendi. Dendi's dropping low. Roshan, Roshan. S4 picks up the ages. Alliance is still in game five. Back in the mid lane, Loda looking for a chase. Puppy barely gets away. Karoki barely gets away. 22 to 19. Navi's gonna try to take Roshan once again, but they got burned there last Remember, time. Remember, Puppy does have that BKB, but the, always the Scythe could pose trouble for him, and he's on the high ground. He's in a very bold move. Roche dropping fast. No reaction from Alliance, but they just give this up. They're still not committing. Lasso. Now, they found S4. He's the key to their success in these fights, and he does die. He's got a buyback, but it's too late. Roche is dead. Puppy moving forward. Aegis to Navi, and now it's time to see what they're really made of. They're pushing in mid, and they may just force the high ground. Grace flip push coming in from Ammo Bulldog trying to pressure top. I don't, see, I don't know if it's fast Dyer's enough. It's though. not. It's not. Tier 2 is going to drop on the mid lane very quickly. I think Navi, they want to go high ground. They see the victory. They need to claim it. 33 seconds. If they can force out a buyback from Pug, that's an extra. There's a buyback. There you go. Do they back? They're sticking around mid. They really want to fight. They're going to stay on the high ground. They pop the mech. There's their trap. Deployed. Meanwhile, the Alliance pushing the top lane, pushing the bottom lane, but the tier three mid falls. Navi going for the mid ranks, dropping it fast. Alliance, no sign of wanting to defend. S4 is here. Ake baits out a stun. Navi not finishing the racks yet, but they've lifted S4. He just bought back. If he dies, that could be game. Blinks away. They take the rack. All TP. TP quick right now. S4 is going to try to cancel as many as possible. He'll cancel three. My God. Funnick's going to try to TP, but he's going to defend against every. Everybody. Meanwhile, Loda working on the melee racks on the bot. Reality rip. Oh, Funnick, you are getting stopped hard. He's going to get back out, but the racks in huge trouble. They will defend. Alliance will defend. out maneuvering. Navi have almost taken Bot racks. Bot racks. Loda. That's back two. In. That's Karoki. He's dead. Karoki's down.
Cloud, Alona, Elias, the Kings of the North. Lane, Emerald Ball, the Hexes of Funnick. Funnick's going to go down as well. Oh my god, Alliance. They're doing it. The Alliance is doing it. Two lanes of Rex. It's so hard to come back now. Navi, oh, they've got it. They're not ages. done yet. Hovosi Slota, can you drop that stun? Oh, EGM. Oh, BKB, BKB, TP. Oh my god. EGM's going to try to TP as well. We need a Malifus. We will get a Malifus. Navi, not 100% out yet, but they're up against Profit. They're up against Relocate. They're down a rack. The gold, the experience, so even. It comes down to buybacks. It comes down to who pushes faster. You look at the buybacks. Everyone's got one except for S4. He's still dead. He won't have a sight. Man, Lumi, what a play. Three hero Dream Coil wins them two lanes of racks. Without that, they lose a racks and they don't get one. This racks, the tier three had just fallen. The racks was still at full HP. The bottom racks was sitting at three quarters. S4, despite getting completely crushed mid lane, is showing why he's respected as one of the very best, if not the best solo mids in the world. Not necessarily for winning his lane, but for his mid game decision making. It was amazing pressure being played on the both side lanes by Alliance. It forces a quick rotation from Navi, and I think Navi perhaps they panic a little bit. They're saying we need to defend our base, and they TP right in front of the uh, Alliance base. And of course, they got Dream Core canceled, so the Navi cannot make any more mistake this game. Havos invis on the mid lane. He says, "Can we get something going?" They're going here? on Lona now. Oh, Lona, no BKB He's this time. He's dropping fast. There's a black hole from Robbie. No, there's not. It's on cooldown, unable to use it. Low to low, armlet toggling on. He's still got BKB. He's baiting this with buyback. EGM's low. EGM not dead yet. Lota standing strong. And Blake's funny. Caught by the tether stun. He might end up being in trouble. EGM running, but will get caught. Lota as well. Do Navi go thrown? Do they do it right now? Is it all in? They don't have enough time to throw him right now. Keep in mind that Admiral Bulldog pressuring in the bot lane as well. Navi, I think they have to back off. No, they said we want to go in. Havos, no. No BKB, nice goes after blocking the stun, but he gets left in. EGM, oh no, Akin, you draw, oh, what a crit! Dandy on loads, but it's Bale, Bulldog Bale. going for the throne! There's no glyph, they must defend! Oh, S4, S4 is gonna try to jump to the right side, he won't make it there, but again, Bulldog mm -hmm. trying to get the racks. Puppy's here, he's gotta drop the Malefis, but he has to respect the Hex as well. Admiral Bulldog could just Hex him and kill him. EGM, he's still alive, he's baiting them all! Bulldog still working on those tier 4 towers! Alliance losing two, but they get one! Gem hits the deck, still the creeps pushing in! The base might soon fall, it's coming down to the wire! Bulldog, cat and mouse with Puppy, the tier 4's in jeopardy! Malvi running out of options, it's a Necro 3! It's all in on the push! Oh my god, Rax is gonna go down, we're gonna see a TP from Dendi, and that will drive Emerald Bulldog out of the base. Meanwhile, you see Havos still trying to run every buyback being spent on both sides. But look at the damage he did, that's the last tier 4, the way to the throne is now open! Admiral Bulldog, Alliance, they find a pick up as well, they found a boast, he BKBs, does he get out in time? No crits, no crits, he will live. Oh my god. So Navi, they, they can, I, they're out of options here. They gotta force a fight and take Rax very soon. Start a fight there, and if Alliance decides to throne race you, you reach your travel back. It's hard to say though, here we go. Could be a huge, could be a huge class in the river. Oh, okay. Blake, okay. Blake, Malefis as well. He will get caught, he has buyback. It's a Crystal Maiden down, but the push comes top. It's a nice pick for Navi. It's not enough to they, put they this can't, game in the They grasp. can't roach, they can't roach. They don't have enough damage. They don't have enough but time. Oh, oh cancel TP, he's out! He cancels the beep, the beep. Puppy, he's not gonna be back in the base. He's got BKB, but no boots of travel. Oh, Coil on two. Just so Sandy CP as well. They are in now huge trouble. Funix caught. Now if they go over the throne, it could be game. Funix down. Alliance are doing it. They need a little more. But those to fall. Down in jeopardy. There's a glyph. It could be their last stand. Dendi's back, he's gonna try to focus everybody, but there's so much stuff the hitting on the throne. There's no more clip available. Down to about half HP, a quarter HP. Alliance surrounding from all sides. BKB, they They're won the new round. They're gonna do it. They're the gonna Kings do it. The Alliance wins. The they Alliance. win TI3. The Alliance just won 1.4 million dollars. They are your international three champions. They have taken home the first ever international for the Swedes.
Unbelievable. The Lions grab the championship, guys. Just what a game. I couldn't believe it.